All right, let's do an intro lesson to integer chips. This is about a foundation to adding and subtracting positive and negative numbers. And for now, we're going to add and subtract integer chips. So the big idea is we have to know what a zero pair is. A zero pair is where we have a negative one and a positive one because negative one plus positive one is gonna equal zero. So these two items together are gonna to give us what equates to zero. So if I wanted to represent the number four, I could put four positive chips on here and go one, two, three, four, and there's the number four. Now I could also represent this number four like this. Still have four on my board. Let me get rid of that zero pair. So I have four, and then this positive and negative is a zero. So I could do this. Uh, it's still the number four. And it's still the number four. And I could really add these zero pairs infinitely, and I still have the number four on my board. So what we're going to do is we're going to add and subtract. Let's take a look, see, at an addition problem. 5 plus negative 3. When we are adding, we put chips on the board when we add. So the first step is to always model the first number, which happens to be 5. I'm going to model that the simplest way possible. So I'm going to take five positives, which are blue. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to swap that one out for one that matches. So there's five. I'm modeling the first number. And then I'm really adding to that. So I'm putting onto the board three more chips. I actually don't need to put that plus sign there. I'm going to add three negatives, which are red, onto the board. So here is negative one, negative two, and negative three. So in the end, when I go to calculate what this equals, I go, oh, look, these two equal to zero, and these two equal to zero, and these two equal to zero, which leaves me with positive two. So I know that this equals positive two. Now you may say, well, yeah, I did that mentally. We're gonna get into more difficult ones for now. We're just talking about the process of integer chips. I promise I will make this more difficult. So when I go to draw this, I would model the first number. I like to model it like this because it makes it easier for me to adjust my zero pairs. And I put a plus sign in between because my pencil doesn't have colors. Putting more chips on the board means I put in these negatives. I happen to put them right next to their positive and then I can circle them. So if we create um, zero pairs, through addition, we circle them. Zero, 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 two, always make sure you answer the problem. You will be forced to model and you'll be graded to model. Let's take a look, see at another way you could model it with your pencil. You could say, well, I have one, two, three, four, five, and I'm adding one, two, Three. Now this is a little more difficult for me to circle the zero pairs because I'm going to circle that one and then I'm going to circle that one and then I'm going to circle that one. That's way harder for me to grade. Very organized, a little more disorganized, still correct because I still have my two positives sitting out here for my answer of two. You got to be careful on your strategy. I love a good strategy. I love a good strategy. All right, I think it has a D in there, strategy. Well, I teach math. Let's keep going. Let's talk about subtraction. Ooh, that paper has a stain. Oh, no, it doesn't. This just has energy chips underneath it. Let's not talk about subtraction problem. What about negative four minus three? When we're subtracting, we're taking chips off the board. And here is really kind of the beauty of integer chips. It's gonna to demonstrate to us why in the future our, our trick of the algebraic definition for subtraction really does work. So that's why we're building understanding. So again, I'm gonna model the first 
number, which is negative four. So I'm gonna take my red chips, I'm gonna put four red chips on my board, all right? Step one is always the same, model the first number. Subtraction means take them away. I need to take away three blue chips. Grr, I don't have three blue chips. I don't have any blue chips. So I can't take three red chips off. That's not what it's telling me to do. It's saying to take off three blue chips. Then we have to go back to this idea of when I originally modeled the number four and I said, well, I could keep adding these zero pairs infinitely. So if I take a zero pair and I put it on the board, I still have modeled the number negative four. So I'm kind of remodeling negative four until I get what I need on the board. I currently have one positive on the board. I'm still only modeling negative four. So in the end, I need to grab a couple more chips here. I need three blues on the board. <clears throat> but in the end, I'm gonna need these zero pairs in order to do what I want. So I've still modeled negative four. Just negative four plus zero plus zero plus zero gives me negative four. Now, can I do what it's telling me to? Can I take off three blue chips? Yes, I can. And when I slide those three blue chips off of the board, I'm left with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, negative seven. There's my solution. So it's really cool when I can slide these off the board. Let's do it with a pencil that doesn't have colors. So I'm gonna model negative four, with putting my little subtraction, my little negative symbols in there. Um, and then I created these zero pairs. Now, when we create zero pairs for the purpose of subtraction, we do not circle them. In the end, I'm, if I circle them, it means that they've actually in the end equaled zero. So here, all I'm gonna do to subtract, to take off the board, I'm gonna I'm gonna cross them off, so I'm crossing off the blue ones. One, two, three. That's my subtraction. And then again, I'm left with seven on the board. That's all I have to do here. Now, could I have modeled four negatives and just done as many zeros as I wanted? Sure. One, two, three, four. I'm still modeling negative four. These are all zeros. I still can subtract positive three, but now that my operation is completed, I still would have to circle these and go, well, these are all zero. I still end up with negative seven on the board. I just have some extra zeros in there that don't impact the value of my solution. That's a real quick intro. Let's do, um, negative two minus negative six, and then I think I'll be out of time. Negative two minus negative six. So again, we wanna take chips off the board, and we're gonna begin by modeling negative two. Always model the first number. All right, I have to take off six reds. Brr, I only have two reds. So I can't just throw more reds on the board because that changes what I have modeled here. So I have to go back to step one and I have to remodel negative two. So, okay, there's one, zero, still negative two, still negative two. Now I have four negatives on the board. I have five negatives on the board, but I'm still modeling negative two. I have six negatives on the board. Now I could stop here. Many students don't. Many students just like to put six zero pairs on there. That's okay, it's a little extra work. I have six zeros and a negative two, which makes me model the first number as negative two. Can I take off six negatives? Yes, I can. Once I take off those six negatives, these guys pair up and make two zero pairs, leaving me with positive four. So negative two minus negative six actually equals positive four. And the chips demonstrate why. Um, I did say that that was a little bit of extra work because as you model, let me take these guys back here. If I'm a strategic thinker, I'm going, I only need six negatives on the board. I could stop here with only four zero pairs and say, okay, I know I have six negatives on the board, even though I'm still modeling negative two. This allows me to take just the negatives off and leaves me with positive four. So to do that with my pencil, I start by modeling negative two. I have to remodel negative two in order to get what I want on this board. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
I have six negatives. I still have only modeled negative two. <coughs> now to take off those six negatives, cross them off. My answer is four. That's all I have to do with the modeling. You are gonna be assessed on that, so you gotta practice it.